Ayaniputra. The Bodhisattva sacrifices himself for all beings, for his parents, for his teacher, or for all people. This is why if we accept your definition of highest generosity where detachment plays the essential part, the gift of the body will never constitute the complete virtue of generosity. The Mahayanists Although he sacrifices himself for all beings, his mind is impure, for he does not know that he himself is non-existent. He does not know that the one who receives his gift is not a person, is not his teacher. He does not know that the thing given by him is in reality neither the same as or different from him. Since his mind is attached to the three concepts of donor, recipient, and thing given, it is impure. It is in this world that he will receive the reward of his merit. He will not be able to go directly to Buddhahood. Thus it is said in the Prajnaparamitha that the three things donor, recipient and the thing given are non-existent and that he should not be attached to them. This is applied to the virtue of generosity but it is valid also for the other virtues up to and including the virtue of wisdom. According to the disciples of Katyayaniputra, to divide the great earth, the cities, towns, and villages and to make seven parts of it is the perfection of the virtue of wisdom. But the virtue of wisdom is immense and infinite like the water of the ocean. To divide the earth is only ordinary mathematics. It is a modest part of conventional wisdom, like one or two drops of water in the ocean. The true Prajnaparamitha is called the mother of the Buddhas of the three times. It reveals the true nature of all dharmas. This Prajnaparamitha has no point of coming or point of going. It is like a magic show, an echo, the moon reflected in water which one sees and which immediately disappears. Out of compassion and, although this wisdom has but a single nature, the Aryas define it using all kinds of conventional expressions as being the precious treasure of the wisdom of the Buddhas. You are speaking grave errors. 3. The Time of Appearance of the Buddhas you speak of the four examinations made by the Bodhisattva. 1. Examination of time, 2. Examination of place, 3. Examination of clan, 4. Examination of mother. You add that that the Buddha appears in the world when the human lifespan is 80,000, 70,000, 60,000, 50,000, 40,000, 30,000, 20,000, 100 years. But if the Buddhas always have compassion for beings, why do they appear only at these eight times and not at others? Just as a good medicine once swallowed, cures the sickness, so the Buddha Dharma does not depend on time. The Disciples of Katyayaniputra Although the Bodhisattva has compassion for beings and although the Buddhas do not depend on time, when the lifespan surpasses 80,000 years, Long-lived people revel in pleasures. Their fetters, lust, desire, etc. are heavy and their faculties are weak. This is not the time to convert them. On the other hand, when the lifespan is less than 199 years, people have a short life and are overcome with suffering. Their fetters, hatred, etc. are thick. This period of pleasure when the lifespan is more than 80,000 years and this period of suffering when it is less than 199 years are not times favorable to finding the path. This is why Tha Buddhas do not appear at those times. The Mahayanists Minus 1 The lifespan of the gods is more than 10,000 years. That is because of their previous life. Although they have plenty of pleasures and their sensual desires are heavy, they are able to find the path. What could be said then of people who are not happy and whose 32 impurities are easily corrected, except that they find the path even more easily than the gods? This is why, even when the human lifespan is greater than 80,000 years, the Buddhas must appear in the world. At this time, people are not sick and their minds are joyful. Consequently, their faculties are keen and they are virtuous. As a result of their virtues and their keen faculties, they can easily find the path. 2. Furthermore, under the Buddha Chaitsu Kao Yin Wang, the human lifespan is 100,000 years. 
Under the Buddha Ming Wang, it is Asam Kyiakalpas. Under the Buddha Amitio, Amitba. It lasts innumerable Asam Kyiakalpas. How can you say that the Buddhas do not appear when the human lifespan is longer than 80,000 years? The Disciples of Katyayaniputra. These teachings are in the Mahayana Sutras, but in our system it is not a question of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions but only of the One Hundred. Buddhas of the Past, Sakyamuni, Kiutchenjo, etc. And the Five Hundred Buddhas of the Future, Mithraya, etc. The Mahayanists. In the Mahayana Sutras, we speak of the Buddhas of the Three Times and the Ten Directions for various reasons. In the universes of the Ten Directions, all the torments rage. Old age, sickness and death, lust, hatred and delusion, etc. This is why the Buddhas must appear in these regions. It is said in a sutra. If old age, sickness, death and the afflictions did not exist, the Buddhas would not appear. Furthermore, wherever there are many illnesses, there should be many physicians. In one of your Sravaka texts, the TCH Angahan, King P. I. Chaman addresses the following stanza to the Buddha. I bow before the Buddhas, past, future, and present. I take refuge in the Buddha Sakyamuni. In this sutra of yours, it is said that the king bows down before the Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present and that he takes refuge in Buddha Sakyamuni. Thus we know that, in the present, there are Buddhas other than Sakyamuni. If the other Buddhas did not exist, why would the king first bow down to the Buddhas of the three times, then afterwards take refuge specially in Sakyamuni? This king had not yet renounced all desire, but he was at the side of Sakyamuni and, as a result of the affection and respect he had for him, he took refuge in him. As for the other Buddhas, he bowed down before them. Four Place of Appearance of the Buddhas